Hello, my name is Lance August and welcome to uh, Grade 8 Creative Arts Drama. Um, I'm presenting on Term 2 uh, content. I'm presenting specifically on Unit 1 and Unit 2. Um, this session looks specifically at um, forms of South African poetry and uh, this video is powered by the Amakawe Collective, a non-profit organization that strives to create um, theater for social change. So in today's session we'll be looking specifically at indigenous and praise poetry as well as different poetic devices that are employed and then also we'll be looking at one or two activities. Remember these activities have the ultimate goal of um, getting you to prepare for your practical assessment in creative arts for, for grade 8. Looking specifically at indigenous and praise poetry, what is it? So an indigenous poet is somebody who creates poems with local content and local flavor. Uh, uh, some um, of these indigenous poets, they write poems for themselves. Uh, some of them write, um, or rather they, they, they write it for others, or they are commissioned by people to write poetry and they obviously get paid for it. Others write the poetry and then they perform it um, for themselves. Like, so basically, there's either a profit motive or there is just an enjoyment motive, but there could also be a cultural motive. In terms of praise poetry, praise poetry is basically poems that praise somebody or something, but the significance of praise poetry is that it's an important part of auto culture and it's something that has been stemming for, for generations. In different languages, the praise poet or praise poetry is called uh, different things. It's either an izibongo, a ditoko, or maboko. Yeah. So, um, when they write this praise poetry, they also include the names of individuals in the string of praises. So, almost like I think they call on their ancestors or something like that. But, yeah that is a component of, 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 of praise poetry. So the praise poet fulfills a very vital role in, 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 in society and in that it is used to um, uh, express opinions, uh, also to influence uh, politics as well as public opinion. Um, the praise poet or the imbongi, imbongo, whatever language um, you want to refer to, um, whatever language you use to address it as, um, they compose or perform po poems as needed, um, and that's very important. Um, um, the poems are usually very contextualized, and I'll tell you why. Um, so they choose the structure and the rhythm of the poem. Um, they also choose the content that the poem um, that the poem addresses, but like I mentioned, it's it's very contextual. Um, so part of their role is to entertain audiences by reminding you of past events in the poem, uh, um, praising leaders or heroes, boost the morale of warriors before or after battle, and to appease ancestors. And also to show appreciation for what has been achieved. Um, and I've seen this personally at graduation ceremonies where a uh, Mbongi uh, or a praise poet would be there to uh, show appreciation for the success of graduates and also to the parents for the for the sacrifices that the parents have, have made. So let's perhaps just pause here and you take this time to do a little activity regarding um, developing vocal clarity. Um, yeah. It's very important that when you're going to perform, you need to use your voice properly and you need to uh, develop vocal clarity. And these are some of the activities that you can do. Keeping your mouth closed, uh, placing your hands on your face, start humming in different ways. And while you are humming in different ways, you know, a hum is like a hum. When you start humming in different ways, I want you to take note of where it is that you feel these vibrations, where is it that you feel the buzzing, like take make a mental note of it, or maybe just reflect on where it is that you feel feel this this buzzing, and then also to develop vocal clarity, you could also do an activity where you say these sounds. Uh, and then also to take note of where it is that you feel buzzing, if you feel buzzing. Uh, so you can say, ah, uh, 
e i o u i felt buzzing i felt buzzing at the same place i felt it right here by my throat x by my throat um the, basically the idea behind all of this is buzzing is an act uh, a buzzing is a way of creating resonance and resonance is one of the building blocks to, to vocal quality. You'll discover a bit more about resonance um, in grade 9. So here's another activity <coughs> uh, uh, that would help you to say consonants clearly and distinctly. Um, how do you say consonants clearly and distinctly? Um, there is a nice activity here that, that was taken from the book that I am using. Uh, let me just get some pointer options here. Let me get a pen. Yeah. So, um, there are words that rhyme in a poem. You know that uh, the, obviously poems have like rhyme or some sort of rhyme scheme going. But when you perform, it's important that you that you say them distinctly so that so that they don't so that they don't sound the same. Um, and this activity is basically asking you to to read through a poem. The name of the poem is uh, "We Africans." Uh, the first part of the activity is to identify and list all the words that rhyme in the poem. Um, for example, "creation" rhymes with "nation," "streams" rhyme with "dreams," that sort of thing. Uh, and perhaps that is um, what we will do now. Perhaps I'll just read the poem. It says, "We we are born." We rise, we open our eyes, we crawl, we walk, we are learning to talk. We dig, we drill, we bend our wool, we melt, we mold, we bleed for gold. We plant, we reap, we strive, we weep, we serve, we slave, we hope, we brave. We move, we tread, we search, we spread, we it, we fight, we claim our right. So there's quite a few um, there's quite a few words here that rhyme. <clears throat> Going through stanza one, rise um, uh, uh, um, rhymes with eyes, walk rhymes with talk, uh, drill rhymes with will, mold rhymes with gold. Reap with weep, slave with brave, tread with spread, fight with right. Yeah, so basically you need to say these words as distinctly as possible. And you need to make use of different elocutors in your mouth to be able to do this. Like, rise and eyes. Walk and Talk, drill and wool, mold and gold, reap and weep, slave, brave, tread, spread, fight, right. And that is the activity. Um, uh, Practice saying these words as distinctly as possible. Use all of the elocutors in your mouth to be able to, to do this. And when you eventually deliver this poem, the audience will have no difficulty hearing you. So just to reflect on what you have learned in today's session, you've learned the distinction between what an indigenous poet is and what a praise a poet is, or rather what the distinction between indigenous poets and praise poetry is. You've also learned an explanation of the role of the praise poet in the community, as well as how to uh, begin to develop um, vocal clarity by gaining skills in resonance, remember the activity with the buzzing sounds. And then lastly, how to say different consonant sounds clearly and distinctly, or how to say different rhyming words clearly and distinctly. And that brings us to the end of today's session. This was grade eight, creative arts. Uh, my name is Lawrence Ovis, and the session was brought to you by the Amakawe Collective, a non-profit organization that strives to create theater for change. Goodbye.